more. I'm on it. Today's episode, Next Stop, Armageddon, Act 1, Bound for Glory. What up? You got the stuff, man? What's the hurry? This needs to go down. In about two minutes, Folsom's birthday party ends and the halls will be swarming. This is it. Waferitas from Paraguay. The exact same size and weight of your standard American quarter. No vending machine in the world can tell the difference. Nice, man. But don't the proceeds from the school's machines go to charity? And isn't the greatest charity of all oneself? Now let's get this done so we can get to the party. I don't want to miss the cake. Word on the street is, they got her buttercream. Sorry, Theo. Your party's over. Cornelius Fillmore, ex Middle School Safety Patrol. <laughs> Thank you for the wonderful surprise. <laughs> if I allowed myself to cry in public, I assure you I would most certainly be moved to tears. For she's a jolly good fellow, for she's a jolly good fellow, for she's a jolly good fellow. <laughs> Buttercream. Folsom surprise party, Fillmore? Folsom surprise party, Fillmore? The birthday committee worked for months on this thing. Well, she was surprised. All the days you could have picked to tick off Folsom. You gotta go for her birthday? Word is it starts with a four this year. Vallejo, that thug was trying to replace quarters with waferitas. You know that money is supposed to go to the Hay Fever Society for their annual blowout. I don't care if he was taking eggs from the blasted Easter Bunny. I don't need this kind of heat right now. Look, Folsom's taking you off the beat for a while. I'm assigning you two to convention duty. Convention duty? Filet- Now go clean up. You're making me hungry. Next thing you know, they'll have us guarding the turtle watching club. <laughs> hey, they flip on their back, they never come back, Ingrid. Uh, Fillmore, I don't think Thelonious is gonna eat that much. Dog, he's gone. He was one of the good ones. I'm sorry. I won him at the Fall Equinox Carnival three years ago. <laughs> it took me eight ping pong balls. I know he's been with you since back in the day. If you want to talk... The train convention starts in five. We'd better jet. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to ask you to stop tooting so close to us. <laughs> mm -hmm. Convention duty. Who's that? Who's that? That's Oscar. He's the best of the best. A fifth generation track layer. He can't help but be good. It's in his blood. That kid was teeth on train tracks. Oh, oh, tell us again about the time you built a quarter inch scale warping model of the channel. Later, girls, later. Model train fans, young and old, I give you train amorphosis. From our humble past to our exciting future, where model trains blow remote control cars off the map. Lights, please. This is pretty elaborate. You ain't seen nothing yet. Oscar used to sweep the train convention competition every year. 
Two years ago, he gracefully took himself out of the running to give others a chance to win. But he still manages to rub his talent in everyone's faces with production numbers like this. Now some say we model trainers need to change with the times. That the future belongs to high-tech remote control vehicles. But I say, stoke the furnace. Full steam ahead. What's up with the anti-remote control car stuff? Any model trainer worth his gauge hates the RCers. They think they're all cool because their cars run without a track. So what? I walk without a track. Do they have a club for me? So welcome to the Interschool All-County Model Train Show. Brought to you by Guerrero's Trainatopia Model Train Shop. Let me guess, Oscar Guerrero? As much as I wish this could all last forever, this will indeed be my final convention. We're moving Guerreros to the Pacific Northwest, where the constant rain makes model training much more popular. So next time you're in the greater Tacoma area, look me up. Now, who wants to see these babies run? Yeah! Trainers, ready? All aboard? Here we go, a year of work. Playing cityscapes, aligning tracks, putting foliage on trees with tiny tweezers, all leading up to this moment. It's all about now. Washington from Radio XMS, reporting live from X Middle School, site of the largest disaster in train convention history. I'm hovering over a wreck that spans a 400 square foot area. Oh, the miniature humanity. No! No! Get her out of here! People, can we clear the area? No more? Ingrid, what happened? I don't want to know. What I do want to know is what my two best safety patrol officers were doing when the largest model train accident in human history happened in my school. Maybe you were busy making plans to wreck my funeral. <laughs> because all of this is driving me to an early grave. Principal Folsom, we're going to catch whoever did this. Philma, what are you talking about? This was an accident. Was it? One train car caused an entire convention center to be destroyed in a matter of seconds. Something's not right. We'll find out what went down. I promise. I don't want your promises. I want answers. And clean this mess up ASAP. We've got the Bavarian Club Pretzel Twist Off Convention coming in two hours. Uh, O'Farrell, what are you doing? Uh, my designated job on the safety patrol. I'm gonna take some pics of the crime scene, okay? Danny, it's rough in there. You might want to skip this one. Fillmore, thanks for having my back. But I'm a seventh grader. I can handle. Oh, merciful pancakes. Did I just say pancakes? Oh, why did I say pancakes? I've got to go somewhere that's not here. This is where the wreck started. If there are answers to be found, we'll find them here. What exactly are we looking for? Something we wouldn't expect. Something that doesn't belong. Something like this? So we found a controller. But the question is, what exactly does it control? Disco. <laughs> Looks like someone wanted this train to make an unscheduled stop. Act two, a saboteur sought. Hey, Guerrero, maybe you can give us some answers. Is there any way to determine who built this piece? Yes, of course. Each member of the train club builds a different section of the layout. It's all supposed to come together without a hitch, but there was a hitch today. A horrible, horrible hitch. Oh, Ralph. Ralph who? Ralph Eddy. There's people like him who are putting our train store out of business. They want to change the way things are done. Always buying pre-made trees, getting their pedestrians out of cereal boxes. The model train industry is dying. 
That's the reason we have to move. As far as you know, does Ralph have anything against the rest of the train club? Ralph's got a good heart, but he's not exactly known for his track laying skills. Of course, that probably miswired the whole thing by mistake. Listen, I gotta go help out at the store. The sooner these people rebuild, the quicker the wounds will heal. One more thing. Can you tell us anything about this? It's not one of ours. Never seen it before. Thanks for your help. This was no mistake. Hey, Fillmore! I got you a new fish. That's where I went. I left to get you a new fish. Not because I was sick or anything. I'm a seventh grader that went to get you a fish. Oh, Farrell. I've even taken the liberty of pre-naming it. I call him Chow Yun. <laughs> Look, man, I appreciate it, but Thelonious can't be replaced. You take it, O'Farrell. Well, no, I couldn't. Well, I could. Listen, Danny, we could use some pictures. We need to find out where this train controller came from. Here's a hint. It's not a train controller at all. That baby's got way too much power to waste on trains. Uh, why don't you do us a favor and cut to the cream cheese? It's a remote control car controller. You know, for RC cars, not trains. Do you know anyone in the RC club who has it out for the train club? Okay, the question is, do I know anyone who doesn't have it out for them? Face it, the trainers are stuck in the past. All that Norman Rockwell, under the Christmas tree, Papa got me a shiny red caboose junk. <laughs> Please, it's a new millennium. So how exactly do we spot a saboteur? <laughs> Look around. Maybe something will hit us. <laughs> Ingrid, the driver must be hiding. I think I'm getting a signal. Just keep it moving. Stay on it. I'm getting close. Ingrid, the car belongs to an R.E. Yep. Ex-Middle School Safety Patrol. Drop the controller, Ralph. You got something to tell us? I'll say whatever you want. Just don't tell anyone you saw me at the RC track, please. I was just trying to distract you so I could get away. I knew you two were on the train case, and I couldn't risk it getting back to the train club. They hate anything new, anything different. They wouldn't understand. Understand what? That I'm... I'm... Spit it out, man. I'm an RCer, okay? I race RC cars. I admit it. Can I go now? Actually, we need to talk about this. It's the guts to a Speedy My 2000 and its controller. What animal would mutilate a Speedy Mite? It's the smoothest ride on the road. You know, besides trains on a good track, of course. <laughs> so, uh, what's up with the dead fish? I called RC World. No record of Ralph purchasing a Speedy Mite 2000. And they're the only dealers around. They've only sold one this year, and it wasn't to a regular. Walked in, paid cash, walked out. All right, Ralph. Thanks for your time, man. So, uh, it's all cool, right? You know, where I wasn't today? <laughs> so it looks like someone was setting up our boy Ralph. Someone who knew about his dirty little secret? Could be. Hey, Tahama, a request. I need minutes from all the train club meetings from last year. Can you make it happen? I think I can. I think I can. Hey, Fillmore, I was over at Pet Papa, and I saw they had a sale on goldfish, so... So get yourself one. Lay it on me! Fillmore. I'm fine. I just don't want a new fish. You're fine? What are you fine about? Everything. Listen, Thelonious was a good fish. Was. But he's gone. You need to move on. <laughs> no. I need to figure out who caused this train wreck before Folsom puts us on permanent convention watch. Am I good or am I good? Record time, Tahama. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Hello, what's this? Tara Octavia filed paperwork to have Ralph Eddy kicked out of the model train club. Six times. Hey, Fillmore. I got you a little something. Don't tell me. A goldfish? Actually, two goldfish and a brownie. Right here. Well, if you're not going to replace Thelonious, can you at least flush him or something? He's starting to stink up the joint. 
So, I hear there's a carnival over at Strickmeyer Elementary. I bet they've got a couple of goldfish looking for someone who can land a ping pong ball and take them home. Ingrid, Thelonious saw me through some real tough times. I mean, real tough. You didn't know me before. But no one was in a rush to make friends with the guy with the rap sheet the size of the Rio Grande. Thelonious was all I had. And I'm sorry, Ingrid, but you can't replace a friend like that with a well-tossed ping pong ball. Yeah? We need to ask you a couple of questions about Ralph Eddy. What do you want to know about? The time he put steelhead salmon in an Everglades-themed layout? Salmon are indigenous to rivers and oceans, not swamps. Or how about the time he used chewing gum to secure his tracks? I didn't like Ralph. It was no secret. But I didn't sabotage his layout. Wait, who said anything about Ralph's layout? <laughs> Let's move! Act three, end of the line. Oh, my wicket! Sorry. Marco. Fall out! Marco. Move it! Hey, Tara. Nothing but net. Fine, I did it, okay? I was just trying to teach Ralph a lesson. I didn't mean to wreck the whole convention. Well, I guess you should have thought of that before you sabotaged Ralph. He deserved it. Last year, Ralph put a 1914 Waterloo tractor on a farm layout. The layout was from 1912. Toppling that thermometer was the only choice I had. Fillmore, the controller we found messed with the tracks, not the thermometer. The surveillance club managed to get the hot dog water out of their tape of the wreck. There's not much, but hey, it's all we've got. Is it over yet? What exactly did you do? I rigged a fishing line to Ralph's thermometer so it would fall and he'd get kicked out of the club. But I didn't even pull the line. I changed my mind at the last minute. Something must have tripped it out. Something tripped it out all right. Dog, looks like we just came up empty again. You mean it wasn't my fault? No, you're free to go. But I'm still guilty of conspiring to destroy the world's biggest model thermometer. I'll just let myself out. Uh, Fillmore, I got you something. Ingrid, I told you, I don't want another- Hey, Fillmore, check it out. I got you another fish. I'm working on the first goldfish habit trail for Chow Yun and Chow Yun 2 and 3. I believe Chow Yun 4 will make an excellent addition to the community. It's not a fish. It's a book. Young grief? Just give it a look, okay? Causes of grief. Hmm. Number one, losing a pet. Number two, moving to a new town. Number three, toys that break. Toys that break. Number four, partners who won't let up. It has been said that grief is the agony of an instant, the indulgence of grief, the blunder of a life. One must say goodbye before anything becomes good again. Hmm. Too much grief, not enough life. Oh, snap. That's it. Fillmore. I need you to come take a look at this tape. I think I've got something. I think I've got something, too. Look at this. In the background, one of the cars in Oscar's layout was a Speedy Mite 2000. That's not all. Get this. Number two on the grief countdown. Moving. Oscar was moving. With the Speedy Mite, we got a motive and a means. It was right in front of us all along. Always is. Hmm. Business is booming. There you go, Josh. This model's better than last year's anyway. Thanks, Oscar. I don't know what I'm gonna do when you guys are gone. Didn't you hear? Looks like we're not moving after all. Model train wrecks. Bad for people, good for business. You didn't happen to make sure of that, did you? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about a Speedy Mite 2000 controller used to cause the train wreck. You knew the schedules, the layouts, and had the guts to a Speedy Mite. Everything you needed to rig the whole crash. And bring in enough business to bust up the move to Tacoma. Oscar, we'd like you to come with us. 
Well, the thing you have to consider is... Huh. We got a train to catch. You're too late. My plan worked, you see. My dad just renewed the lease on the store for another year. We don't have to move. Nothing has to change. You're wrong about that. You may still be in town, and you may still have the train store, but things are going to change. Once word of what you did gets out, you lose your model train license, your fans, your position in the train club. Sorry, officer, but this is your stop. End of the line, Oscar. You don't understand. I couldn't move. I have a life here. Thing about life is, you can't stop it from changing. And you can't make it turn right or left with a battery-operated control. Hobbies change, model trains give way to RC cars, goldfish die. You gotta be willing to move on, man. Ingrid, can you take Oscar in? I've got some business to take care of. Cool. Here's a coupon. Hey, Fillmore. Nice work on the derailment case. Folsom wants you two back on the beat. And I was just starting to get pumped for that pretzel-twisting convention. Hey, wait! The train club got you a fish to express their appreciation. But I told them just to give it to me. You know, cut out the middleman. Only the goldfish habitat? Well, I've hit a snag. The model trainers kicked out Oscar and put up a warning about him on all the training news groups. His model train career's over. At least the book I gave you was good for something. It was good for a lot of things. Nice fish. Yeah. I decided it was time for a change. What are you gonna call him? I was thinking about calling him Chow Yun. Hey! Maybe Miles. <laughs>